After the consultation around the 18 local government area of Edo State, one of the leading all progressive Congress AAPC governorship aspirants for the September 21, 2024 election, Dr. Ernest Afolabi Mark here, don't submit in nomination forms to show say in Redi Giligba to contest for the party's primary election. Florence Umakia, wife of the aspirant Dr. Ernest Afolabi Umakia, joined body with hundreds of supporters to witness the ceremony where she left for the APC National Secretariat for Abuja. The Deputy National Organizing Secretary, Chidi Azeduru, as he received the forms, come and show the party said then go provide level playing field for all the aspirants. A cultural way salute to Dr. Ernest for the way he take run the campaign and come encourage him to continue like that. Dr. Ernest Afolabi Mark here for in talk with Tory people for the APC Media Center, come to accept the race to Denis Osadebe Avenue now to bring solutions to all the challenges and katakata where the people they face. He comes to talk say in fresh hope agenda we go guarantee shared prosperity they paid on six key areas of agricultural revolution, accessible and functional health care, rural development, youth empowerment and entrepreneurial skills development, women empowerment, as well as security. A come ashore and promise you in go using security and strategy to solve the insecurity where they are those states. I have come around the 18 local government. The tumultuous reception was overwhelming. Wow. And those are the people we vote. Wow. They are on ground. Sure. They support this ambition across the three territorial zone. This is a national working committee. And you saw them accept my form. I wasn't told that you were not screened. What are you submitting for? And you have be assured, we have been assured of a level playing ground. So I'm not aware of the form. We are not aware of it. And uh, for taxation, we are talking about revenue. Revenue generation and revenue drive. And getting the appropriate revenue to run the state. Taxation, we are talking about, it's about revenue derivation. And I will follow through on that with my experience. So it has a lot to do with revenue collection. party tells me to step down this moment, I will say, I will wave you by for now in this submission. On corruption, yes. If, as a candidate and as a retired palm said, if I was corrupt myself, I will leave this public space for now. You wouldn't be seeing me at this time. So I have come out clean. And I know what it takes to ensure that you have a civil service that is corruption free. And I will implement those strategies to ensure that the state is also without blemish in terms of corruption. I have uh, looked at it and see that our people need, you need to leverage on what a do state has, the abundant resources. So that we can mobilize these resources, harness the potentials, and move Edo State forward. As we speak, Edo State has 1.6 million hectares arable land. And this is me, somebody who has sojourned in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture for over three years. And I believe that I can revolutionize agriculture in that state. For sure. All you hear in my place about farming is the uh, rainy season and that is the only time they farm. But I tell you, my, the concept I have is all year round farming. There's no dry season or rainy season farm. It will be all year round. Rice, for example, you can cultivate three times in a year. I want to be able to get irrigation scheme across the greater length of those arable regions and ensure that we farm all year round. And it doesn't stop there. I'm also going to mechanize agriculture, provide tractor, tractor centers. We'll have centers in the 18 local government areas where people can just hire tractors and develop, prepare their land. I've seen that for farmers, over 50% of their cost is on land preparation. Once that is off, 
the rest is very easy. And my focus is on agriculture, but first we must also tackle the insecurity in the system. I have I have enunciated here how I we tackle security, but it's not I can't have everything here because security itself is uh, is of security concern is coded. My strategy is with me. Uh, what I have only put here is the issue of intelligence gathering and involving the traditional institutions in security matters and of course empowering the neighborhood watch so that together we can have insecurity situation neat in the board and every adult can sleep with their two eyes closed. I have also talked of education. Well, yes, we have some infrastructure in some of the schools, even some are dilapidated, but then we also believe that we can innovate, rehabilitate some of those structures. And the major problem is having personnel to teach in those schools. The schools are lacking teachers. Uh, attention will be paid to have the qualified teachers in those schools and also training and retraining will be essential for those teachers so that they can impact on our students, our children. I have also itemized what I will do. My focus will be on primary health care. I have also itemized the issue of women empowerment, youth empowerment. So briefly, I will also share this document with you so that you will look through. But I want to tell you that as it stands, I'm the best man for this job. I come in as a technocrat, a bureaucrat with a lot of experience and administrator. Together, if you support me as the fourth state of the realm to promote this venture, I tell you that I will succeed and move a do state forward. Make no not forget, say, as we see them, not so we they talk them. We not they take blame. From the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Ekata, Ojisele, TMC TV News.